Not all characters in a document are letters and numbers. Sometimes you need to use characters that aren't readily available on a typical computer keyboard. If your document requires accented letters, foreign currencies, dingbats and wingdings for emphasis, or basic copyright and trademark information, you're going to need symbols. You've typed a rough draft of a business letter and need to finish it up by adding symbols for copyright, trademark, and British pounds. This letter is almost ready to go. We just need a copyright symbol before the article's year of publication, a trademark symbol after the name of the magazine, and the symbol for British pounds. Let's start with the symbol for British pounds. Click before the number 283. The easiest way to add a symbol is to use the Symbols drop-down menu. To access it, let's click on the Insert tab. The Insert tab allows you to insert all kinds of elements into your document, from graphics and tables to special characters and strings of characters like dates. At the far right is the Symbols group. Click on the Symbol button for a drop-down menu. The Symbol drop-down menu lets you insert a symbol at the cursor location with a single click. We want the symbol for British pounds, which is called the pound sign. It is the second from the left in the first row of symbols and looks like a cross between an uppercase L and lowercase f. The symbol is right where we want it. Let's add more of the symbols we need to complete this document. We want to declare a copyright, so we'll start by clicking inside the parentheses before the year 2010. Like all of the symbols we'll be working with, the copyright symbol is available in the Symbol drop-down menu, but there are other ways to add symbols. Microsoft Word has a feature called Autocorrect, which is great at catching typos and misspellings, but we can also use it to insert some symbols. Type a left parenthesis the letter C, and a right parenthesis. Word's autocorrect feature recognizes the text and converts it to the copyright symbol. Let's add the trademark symbol after the name of the magazine. First, we need to place the cursor after the word monthly and before the comma. To insert the trademark symbol, let's dig a little deeper in the Symbol drop-down menu. The Insert tab is still open, so go to the Symbols group and click the Symbol button. We can see the trademark symbol here in the Symbol drop-down menu, but let's go down to the bottom and click on More Symbols instead. This opens the Symbol dialog box, which is divided into two tabs. Symbols, the one open now, is a vast library of accented characters from many languages, mathematical signs, fractions, and symbols for emphasis and decoration. We just click a symbol to select it and click the Insert button. Even though we could find the trademark symbol in this long scrolling list, there's a quicker way. Click on the Special Characters tab. The Special Characters card contains some of the more commonly used symbols, and it's a good place to look up the keyboard shortcut for a symbol that you use often. To insert the trademark symbol, we have to select it first. Now we can click the Insert button to insert the symbol. The trademark symbol has been inserted, even though we can't see it yet. The symbol dialog remains open, allowing us to insert more symbols if needed. Let's close the symbol dialog box. There's our symbol, and it's been formatted as superscript. It's easy to add symbols to your documents, and no matter what the symbol is, it's likely that Word will have the one you need. Remember, if it's not in the symbol drop-down menu, you'll probably find it in the symbol dialog box.